हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू एस टी पी सी बी अकेडमी माई नेम इज अविरल सिक्योरिटी अरो सेवेंटीन पॉइंट फोर प्रोवाइड्स इन वर्क फ्लो टू डू रिफ्लेक्शन एनालिसिस इन एनी डिजाइन इन दिस वीडियो आई एल गो ओवर स्टेप बाई स्टेप प्रोसेस टू डू रिफ्लेक्शन एनालिसिस ऑन पैल डाटा बसेस एंड एट लास्ट वील सी सिमुलेशन रिजल्ट एंड प्लॉट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड In the very first step, we are going to run Security Aurora 17.4, and from the product menu, you have to select either Security Aurora 2 or Security Aurora license, and click on OK. Then we are going to open the board file. You can download this board file from the link given in the description. In my case, I have saved it in the desktop. Now, after opening the board file, we are going to set up Workflow Manager. Which will find it here. In your case, if workflow window is not opened yet, you can go to the analyze, and from here you can open workflow manager. Then from analysis workflow drop down menu, you have to select reflection workflow. After opening the reflection workflow, we are going to set up default models. To do that, click over set up default models link from the workflow manager. Here we are going to change the bidirectional single ended models to do that we'll just select this from here expand ibcds default 1.8 volt bidirection model and from this menu you have to select 1.8 volt 1 picofarad and click on okay once the model is assigned we'll click on okay to close this window after assigning the default models we are going to assign models to discrete components To do that, we'll click over Assign Models from the Workflow Manager, and as you can see, we have all the discrete component which has no model assigned. To assign the default models to these components, we'll click over Auto Generate Discrete Models, and as you can see, the auto generated models are assigned. After that, we'll click over OK to close this window. Now in the next step we have to select all the nets on which we wanted to run the reflection analysis to do that we have to click over select nets link once the net selection window is open we are going to change the view from flat to hierarchical view and select all the data buses to select all the data buses we have to move them from the selected nets section to do that you have to click over this arrow key and click on apply okay So till now we have set up the workflow for reflection analysis. Now we are good to go for start analysis. To do that, click over start analysis link. Once the analysis is done, we are good to go for see the simulation results. To do that, I'm just going to click over view reflection tables link from the workflow. And as you can see, here we have focus data option. From there we can set or focus to any value and sort this table for increasing or decreasing order for that value in this case i'm just going to see the propagation delay data and double click here to sort it into decreasing order and here we go parallel data bus 56 has maximum propagation delay which is 0.58 nanoseconds similarly to know more about this where this particular trace is located in the board file we'll click over view reflection vision here we go so as you can see This is a particular track which has maximum propagation delay. In the next step I'm just going to plot for reflection to do that you have to click over 0.58 nanosecond and it will generate this plot. So similarly you can see the reflection plot for driver and receiver and here step response is pretty much bad which is a clear violation of VIN high and VIN low limit. and similarly you can check for other values from these links 